during the primaries last year, Donald Trump and Marco Rubio had a, shall we say, a hot and cold relationship. And now they're both on the ballot in different races. And today, Alan Cohn spoke with Senator Rubio about the effect that Trump will have on his race. And joining us right now is Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Uh, Senator, I know you're in the, the middle of a, a busy campaign. Here's the question. There's been so much talk about the ground game in Florida, how well organized uh, Secretary Clinton's efforts are and how lacking Mr. Trump's efforts are. Are you concerned about how that will impact your race? Well, it's a factor. Obviously, the, I've, I've said they do have a good ground game and they've always uh, built it and, and uh, they've always sustained one. So. You know, we've, we've kind of built our own independent one uh, in our campaign, knowing that uh, we weren't at the par pace we wanted to be getting into the race so late. So I feel confident that in the, in the campaign ground game that my campaign has designed, it doesn't match what Secretary Clinton has designed in her campaign, but I think it will certainly be enough to get voters to the polls and win the race. What was your reaction a couple of days ago when President Obama came to Florida and basically put you on the spot, calling into question how you can support Donald Trump, given what you said over and over it, again during your presidential yeah. campaign yeah. about his suitability for office. Well, he said some significant things about Hillary Clinton too when they were running against each other in 2008. Not, oh, not he did. on the same par. Well, absolutely. And uh, he had strong disagreements with her and in fact often called her, her ability to govern into question and talked about how she was outdated and that he was the future. So in the end, look, bottom line is uh, the president coming here and attacking me He's doing it all over the country, but I, I think there, he has a little bit of personal animus towards me because of the role I played in uh, defunding the Obamacare bailout fund, and that's fine. I respect the presidency. I'm focused on my own race. He'll be an ex-president in a couple months, and, and uh, we'll have to you know, deal with the future, and I look forward to being a part of that. Are you rooting for Donald Trump? Yeah, look, I don't want her to be the president of the United States. He remains the only viable option to stop her, but uh, in the end, I'm focused on my own race because I know that no matter who wins this election, you're going to need to have a U.S. Senate that stands up to the next president because I have substantial and significant disagreements with both of them on public policy. All right, Senator, thank you. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thanks. We'll be back in just a moment.